The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones, ended up being a significant flop for the Constantin Films and Sony Pictures, enough so that the planned sequel, The Mortal Instruments, City of Ashes, was postponed while the company re-evaluated their approach. Now Constantin is looking to produce the sequel anyway. Martin Moskowitz and Constantin Films' head of film and TV said the following, The fan response from the blogosphere and the thousands of mails we have received has encouraged us to keep going. It's been overwhelmingly positive, in contrast to some other young adult titles we are analyzing what we did wrong with the first film, particularly with the positioning and marketing, and what changes we have to make. We are working with a great group of people to reposition the franchise for City of Ashes. The readers of the Mortal Instruments are older than you might think. They may have been one issue in our marketing that we focus too much on a very young audience segment. John, buy or sell the comments from Moskowski. I'm going to sell them. <laughs> uh, now, first, let me start with what I like about these comments. It is very rare you'll hear a studio guy... Um, come out, because you know, you heard all the guys, all the, the production guys with Lone Ranger come out and blame the critics and blame the audience and blame everybody for something that was their own fault, the failure of the Lone Ranger. It is really refreshing to hear a studio guy come out and say, you know what, we need to relook at what we did wrong. What? Did that guy just say what we did wrong? That's refreshing. And I think that's ultimately very encouraging if you're a fan of the studio and of the film franchise, because the guy's saying, hey, no, we made mistakes, and we're going to try to fix them, because you can't fix mistakes that you don't think you made. However, that being said, let's look at the financial numbers of this past film. The film just came in under $100 million uh, that it grossed worldwide, with a production budget of $60 million, and Sony reportedly put another $60 million in to marketing. Then, out of that $100 million, only about $70 million of it went back to the studios. So now you've got a film that cost them $120 million that made 70. million. That's a huge financial bath. And then, as much as I really like his comment about, hey, we made mistakes, we're going to fix them, then he throws Sony under the bus. Did he catch that in the, in the last quote? He goes, blah, 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 marketing's fault, which was, of course, Sony, not his company. So he takes Sony, who was their distributor, and completely throws Sony under the bus. I also think it's interesting to keep note of this, and this is the main reason why I'm selling this. It's all great for him to say, we're going to make another one. That's great. I'm going to be shocked if Sony decides to come back and distribute. I'll be shocked if Warner Brothers decides to distribute. I'll be shocked if any legit distributor gets on board to distribute this film because they're just going to look at the numbers of the last one. Nobody saw it. Got like a 12% critic rating. There's just no upside here. So while it's all well and good for this dude to say, we're committed that we're going to make it, I, I just don't think it's going to hit theaters. Maybe it will, and maybe it'll be awesome. Maybe it'll be a huge improvement on the first one, and we'll have to eat our words. I love it when that happens. But for now, it's a sell. Dennis? Yeah, I have to sell it as well. I mean, it is refreshing that they admitted their mistake. Um, I think the part that, that kind of gets me is the, we had a positive reaction as to opposed to other young adult stuff. You With know? thousands of males. It's like the worst movies or worst things in the world they all get positive. There, there's, if you nitpick or you funnel in, filter out, and you want to see something a certain way, you can be like, wow, that last Airbender by M. Night Shyamalan was a great movie because I got, I got, I'm sure he got thousands, thousands, thousands of, positive of ones. Yeah, exactly. So I think that was the part that got me. I was like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. We get thousands of emails every week. Yeah. I don't think if we put an AMC Movie Talk movie in theaters that we're going to make $50 million. I'd like to pretend like we would, but we, no, we wouldn't. But well, I want to know, Chris I'm going to buy it. Yeah, you and I have argued about this one before, so I'm, I want to know your insight on this. Bye, bye, bye. I'm so excited that they're thinking of doing the second film. I may be responsible for those thousands of emails. I might be, <laughs> but I'm super excited. The books are amazing, and I agree that their fan base is not little kids. It's <laughs> girls like me that have nothing better to do. So I'm super excited that they're thinking of redoing it, and I hope that you're wrong and have to eat your words. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.